Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Atlas on the Radio Man 03. It's awesome to have you along. We're kicking off Season 2. I went back and looked through comments from Season 1. Thank you all so much for all your help through Season 1. So let's launch a second one because they had a big change come to the game, and we'll talk more about that. Uh, so I've been looking through the old comments and trying to find out, okay, so what were some of the recommendations that you guys gave me in regards to single player and making it a game that's reasonable for a single player to play that's got a couple hours in the afternoon to play? So these are some of the, so these are the suggestions I'm going to go with right now. Uh, the XP multiplier, I'm going to go with 2 and not to 3. I, I've been using 2 and I feel good about that. Taming speed has been bumped up to 10. We'll see if that's too fast. I... It, I think maybe it'll be okay. We'll see. You guys let me know what you think of these settings. Uh, creature harvest damage. All this stuff is the same. Oh, player character food drain is at 1.5 because we have brought up uh, our fortitude. How much fortitude we get with each point that we spend. Um, the rest of this is pretty much the same. I did also disable the structure placement collision. Got rid of that. Okay, so there's that. Now if we go to the advanced settings, there's been a few more changes here. One is down here. Here's the fortitude I was talking about under player stats per level. I brought that up to 10. The other thing I did in here, nothing with the, nothing with the animals. Uh, radio player corpse decomposition time. Oh, here we go. No resource radius structures. This is going to allow the trees and grasses and stuff to grow a little bit closer up to the edges of the building. So that if I cut them down and I build something, at least some of them will come back within the interior of the area. You know, giving us some, some nice green decoration there. So 0.25 was recommended for that. Uh, nighttime speed, all this stuff has stayed the same. And I think that is it. Oh, structure decay, it was recommended just to take that off to zero because it doesn't really matter because no one's really attacking me or anything like that. But then again, <clears throat> no, yeah, structure decay off. We don't need it. Um, it also talked about the growth speed for the crops and stuff to put that on three, but I'm not so sure uh, how soon I'm going to need the crop thing to be dealing with. So I'm going to go like that. XP multiplier, I, I'm not going to bump that up at all. It's just going to be natural. So that is what I've got going on there. All right, character time. I think we could keep him pretty much the way he... This is the dark guy, though. We've deleted everything, of course, that was ours before. It's all gone. Um, I mean, it's pretty close to what we had, right? I gotta say, it was pretty close to what we had last time. I didn't do a whole lot to uh, the character... I think all I did was... No, that's kind of... Yeah, it looks pretty good to me. <laughs> Just the way he is. Outer mouth. Uh, yeah, he's got one. He's got a nose as well. That's very good. Head shape. Looks fine to me. Cranium size. I know I could break somebody really crazy, looking, but we're not going to do that. Uh, head depth, head width, head height. Okay. All that looks pretty much fine to me. Let's not, let's not go nuts with the hair. Let's give him a little muscle tone. Okay, he's a pirate. He's going to be uh, pretty strong. He's got to work every day pretty hard. And there we go. I think we're good to go there, right? Which island do we want to go to? 817, 818, 819, or 820? Last time I don't think we clicked on any of these. We just kind of took whichever one they gave us. Pathfinder given name is this yes uh, Ronin Condorian Condorian uh, yeah I don't want to tie to or anything create Pathfinder there we go we should be good I think I never do too much with the character and here we are we have started season two officially. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's it's sometimes it's a challenge for me to get just at this point. Uh, but we've got some good stuff right off the bat. Yeah, music is grand and loud and and nice. Hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing fantastic. I've been looking forward to starting over. I've got lots of ideas and stuff like that. You know, now the pirates, man. That's kind of a that's a a little weird, huh? That's going to be interesting. I don't know that they're on all the islands. They're just on quite a few islands 
is not if I'm not mistaken. I'm just grabbing up some uh, initial resources here. We're going to get started in just a second. Let's just grab a little bit of stuff and uh, take in this beautiful island that we're on. Uh, some of you guys... Oh, we should look at the map too really quick. Let's see. Where, where did we actually spawn? Okay. Oh, wow. We're one tile up from M8. and We sure did like that island. But I think that's kind of a difficult place for us to start. Isn't it pretty hot there? Gosh, it'd be worth the trip down in there, though. We know we've got a lot of good stuff down there, unless it's been changed, right? Unless it's been changed. we got 70 new island configurations. Some of the other islands have been improved upon, so there's that. Um, yeah. yeah. Get some wood. There's some thatch. There's three wood. Hit it again. Give it a right. That's it. And then the left. And then another right. There we go. Beautiful. And then just R to bring that mode out. Let's grab a few stones. We're gonna have to level up a little bit here. We gotta be we do have to be careful of our surroundings. There are there are things on this island in case you do not know, because this is also going to hook up with Xbox on October 8th. So there's gonna be a lot of new players uh, coming in for sure. Um, we have to be careful. You just have to be careful. <laughs> You really have to be careful. Let's go back to our inventory. We got a level. Um, let's put one into fortitude right away. We'll do fortitude right off the bat. Off the ba bat here. We got the basics, tools of the trade. There we go. Um, unlocks construction, basic swimming, water keeper. Water is key. We're gonna do that really quick. Construction, hand to hand combat. No archery and throwing weapons. There we go. And I think if I go over to here. Oh, one skill point. I don't have a point. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll get another point here pretty quick. We'll get another point here pretty quick. Do I? I can probably make a couple of things now, right? Uh, oh yeah, there's a there's a pick. What do I need for the spear? Flint and wood. Well, we're we're gonna have that in just a second. So let's get that pick down here in number one. We're in we're in business. <laughs> yep. Oh, I gotta wait for it to load. There we go. There we go. A little, little speedy. I'm looking forward to start over because I do. Like I said, I've got some ideas. I got ideas. Let's put this away. This has got some pretty uh, nice looking red berries on it. Let's grab that up. There we go. And we'll get some wood. We'll get some thatch. Mm hmm. Okay, back to our inventory. I believe we could probably make. Uh, we can make one. We're looking for the flint, I bet. No, we're looking for wood. Okay, so let's get our axe made. That would be the next thing we want. We'll see how these settings go. You guys let me know what you think of the settings that we put on. Don't forget, everything can change. Everything can be changed. So there's no need to uh, worry about anything. If we need to change stuff, we can change stuff. I had so much trouble with the heat last time, but I realized a lot of that was my fault for not being, you know, uh, in the right area. Speaking of which, what we should do, if, since it's going to be this time of day, there's a sign here that says water. This is exactly where we started last time, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. It is exactly the same island we started on uh, in Season 1. It is occurring to me now. There is water. Fresh water. Ooh, pigs. Nice. Let's get over here where the water is, just so we have it uh, ready for us. There we go. Let's get a little bit of stone, too. We'll hit that once. There we go. Do we have any uh, critters down here that might think they want to eat me and be mistaken by that? Uh, does not look like it. All right, good deal. All right, well, we're fine right now, but if, if we do start getting hot, we've got this and we've got the ocean nearby, so that's always handy. Uh, let's see here. Let's go spears. Now we can make five. Let's do that real quick. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's get a campfire going as well. We'll have that inventory. And we're going to put these guys on number three. I'm guessing uh, there's the water skin. What do we need? We need five hide for a water skin. So we're going to want to get some of those too. So we're going to have to do a little bit of killing. I saw a wild boar over here. He would be a pretty good target uh, for our first kill. Hopefully he's not feeling too spunky. And he's not too high of a level. We get some high. Oh, there's a second one right over there. So we got to be careful. They will gang up on you. And that's always a problem. Let's see if we get them a little further apart. So they, they, he doesn't see what we do to this one right here. What are you anyways, Mr. Pig? I should probably tame you is what I should do, but I need I need some stuff. Let's go see what this guy is over here. Doesn't show their mate boosted, right? 
Level three, she's a female. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take her down. Okay, he didn't see a thing. He doesn't know nothing. <laughs> he doesn't know anything at all. There we go. Meet and hide. Ah, huh? yes, it's a good day. It's a good day to be a new pirate in the world. It is. It's a good day to be a new pirate in the world. I'm looking forward to it. I really love playing the game. I really do love playing it. It's a lot of fun. It's uh, it's an awesome time period for me. Let's see. Let's go ahead and see. Can we make one of those water skins? We can make... Uh, we can make... Let's make a couple of them at least. Okay. There we go. We got water skins coming in now. We're doing pretty good, actually. We're doing quite well, actually. Uh, let's go over here. Wow. We're crafting. We, we move a little slow. Inventory. We do have a level. Let's go ahead and give ourselves a little bit of health. Okay. Basics of the bow. That's why we couldn't do it before because I hadn't learned it all the way yet. Duh. All right. I, I'll, I'll figure it all out. Tool studies. Basics of building. And uh, let's not worry about handyman just yet. And let's get to advanced tools. And do we have any more points? No. Okay. We're going to do that right there. Right there. Now I can make a bow. Inventory. I should be able to make a bow. Uh, craftable stone arrow. I can make 25 of those. Let's do that. Uh, the bow requires some wood, so I'm going to have to get a little bit more wood. These guys, by the way, are awesome for wood and thatch. Just amazing. And then let's go ahead and do the bow. We'll put that down. Well, let's move this guy on over. 25 arrows, huh? That's that's a start. That's a start. Almost there. There we go. Beautiful. Number four. Nope. Uh, number three. Okay. It's a ranged weapon, so I can only have the one, it looks like. That's fine. All right. Let's go over here. Uh, the water's over here. Where's Where's our water at? I've lost the water already. I believe it's right over here. Distract easy, just so you know. If you're new, welcome, first of all. Second, I get distracted. Uh, turmeric. Turmeric? Turmeric. 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 So we've got berries. We've got meat. The only other thing we don't have right now is fish. We don't have any fish. Inventory. Let's go uh, E and E. And we got those guys set up. We'll put one of those down here. Uh, yeah, here we go. We're getting warm. It, it's a warm one out there, ladies and gentlemen. It's a warm one. Inventory. Can we craft any clothing? We can. Let's craft that. The pants, the boots, the gloves, and the shirt. Let's get all that going. We're going to need that stuff. There we go. Protect our head from the sun. There we go. That's going to give us a little hypothermic. We wore these the entire time. We finally got some new duds towards the end there, but we did do that. So some of this stuff's going to come, I think, a little bit faster uh, this time around, but not too fast. Don't, I'm not going to be flying through my, my Let's Play. I really enjoy playing the game. Uh, am I out of stuff? Where's my shirt? Did it not read the shirt? Or did it give it to me? I just don't see it. I don't see it. Oh, there we go. Wonderful. Okay. We got clothes on our backs. That is fantastic. And we're a little warm, but that's okay. Let's go see a guy about a fish. We'll get a little bit of our green food. We need uh, the, the food chart there on the right-hand side. I keep track of that. It, it's it's a, a fun part of the game, I think. I, I like the food aspect of the game. Last time we were here, if I'm not mistaken, there was a sunken ship right over here. Oh, that's right. This is like a long... Oh, what's this over here? Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Nice. Grab your fish with E. Bring them to shore. Ugh, look at the size of that. Oh my god. <laughs> It'll feed us for days. For weeks. Perhaps even a month. <laughs> it's a massive fish. Oh my gosh. That is so big. <laughs> that is unbelievable. Yeah. Oh, there it is. It's a, it's a tuna. It's the biggest one I could find. <laughs> It's amazingly huge. It's a, it's so cool. Uh, number two to get the meat, but really, we're going to have plenty of that. So let's go number two. Let's use the uh, axe on him so we get more skin. And then we'll get some oil, too. That's nice. A little bit of fish oil. There you go. Come on. Wow. 
Holy cow, what is going on with this fish? He's got so much stuff in him. Look at all the stuff we're getting off that fish. Uh, I'm going to drop that right there. I'm going to keep that oil. Uh, we do have a fire pit. What did I do? With oh, it's on number seven down below. Okay, so let's go back over here. We've got a point to spend, so let's do that as well. But let's go over here. I believe what we could do is run over to the shipyard and talk to that guy and get ourselves our uh, sloop, and we'll head out. Now, I could hang out here and do a bunch of different stuff, but I would like to get out and about and actually um, not be at a free port. Because this is going to stop giving me levels. At level 8, I can't get any farther along. That's it. So let's put that in there, and we will cook the meat. Uh, we don't need all of this. Uh, I'll keep the berries. I usually keep berries down here, and I don't know why I do. It's not an arc thing or anything else. Don't think it is. It's just... I don't know why. I just do. Uh, okay, we got one arrow back on that. That's pretty cool. Let's go down here. We'll take a drink, drink. There we go. It's always nice to keep your water filled up if you can. Oh, man, I was kind of hoping to go back. Well, I'm trying to remember those K5 islands. That, that M8 island. Those M8 islands were really nice. Oh, there's a turtle. He would actually be really good to kill. We may we may need to kill him for his kite and a carrot. And let's 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 uh let's go and poke the big turtle. Where is he? There he is. There we go. Got him. Oh, he's tough. Turtles, you know. We almost got him. We probably should get a hog or two tamed up before we leave here, huh? There we go. Nice. Leather and shell. Okay, so here it's called shell. That's okay. It works just fine. All right, beautiful. All right. Doing great. Just doing great. <laughs> Last time I tried this, I died in five minutes. I just died. Just, just you're gonna die now, and I did. Uh, let's see here. Oh, okay. I just got the meat off of him. All right. So now we even got a little bit of meat coming in. That's nice. Uh, I'm not hungry at the moment, so I don't need to worry about that. We do have another level. Let's take a look and see. Let's put one into. Wait. Yes. All right, what else do we want to make sure we get into right away here? Um, we want to get into the water barrels. Let's do the cooking. This here. And then let's also get into medicine. Let's get this. Medical assistant. There we go. We want that one. And then what it is is these are going to speed up how fast we can medicate ourselves. Medical long decrease the burn damage med kits take when used. Okay. So they all help what the med kit is. But this is what we want to get into right here for the medicine for sure. Um, cooking. Ooh. What is this? What do I need? It gives a... Water storage basics of cooking. Let's get that one fired up too. I need this water one. Water storage. It's it's somewhere. We'll find it. We'll get to it. It's not that big a deal. We got this going though. This is gonna help us so we're, you know, just getting our food better. That that's that was always my big concern to the last one. I don't mind having to manage my food and stuff like that, my intake and everything. I just want it to be kind of reasonable. Uh let's see here. What's next on the agenda here? Um well, dang, I think I need to do some hunting, actually. It wouldn't be bad to get a boar on our side. What level are we now, right now? Uh, we are level four. Okay, so wow, we've got a lot we can still do to uh, here. Once you reach level eight here, you can't level up anymore, so you have to leave. Uh, we should probably go see that guy about... Uh, yeah, my food's good. My food is good. 
Now let's go down here and see this guy. Let's go figure out just exactly what we need for a sloop. Let's do that next. And I'm thinking what I'm going to do is possibly tame up a boar or two. There's supposedly crystal on some of these Freeport Islands too. Go up and hit H. It tells you what's in here. So it might be worth giving the Freeport Island a look over. You know? This all looks the same to me, though. Yeah, it's all the same. What level are you? Can I get lucky and get you kind of a higher level? Uh, you're level two. So let's get rid of this one. Whew. The spears work a little bit better, don't they? <laughs> The spears work a little bit better. I might put those on, especially when it comes to the boars. It seems like one of them works pretty good on them. Let's go ahead and do this, and let's go ahead and dump that meat this time. We'll keep the hide on us, though, of course, because that's going to be very, very important. Another level. <clears throat> let's go ahead and add... Uh, we're at three. Okay, let's add a little bit of... Let's grab a little more health. Yeah, let's grab a little more health. We'll spend the points in a second. We're set pretty good right now. Let's go see what, uh, and we wanted to switch out to the spears, correct? Let's do that instead. Yeah. Let's go see what this guy is over here. Oh, there's the monkey that helps with the health. And level two. Yeah, he's not worth having around here either. We need to get rid of these guys. There we go, beautiful. We'll clear out these hogs. Maybe some uh, higher level ones will come in. So I did this last time. This was really easy to do. Um, require, I can't tame a monkey because I have no skills in it. Of course not. I don't know what I'm doing. Man crawling around like that, you fool. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to tame a monkey yet. I suppose I could learn that though, huh? Parrot would be ideal too. It'd be really nice to have. So it's pretty awesome. I gotta say, I really like this place. So I got super sidetracked by that. So we have no real good um, uh, boars to tame up here. But that's okay. We can always work on that. We can always work on that. It'd be nice to have a couple. Uh... Oh, there's the cats. Oh, that's right. I forgot about the cats. They added cats. They must have saw me coming and just took off for running, huh? I see one over here that's not running. So just feral cats, huh? Let's see if I can get even close to it. Jeez! Get away from me, you dangerous human! <laughs> Holy cow, man. Talk about freaking out. I wonder if the other animals eat them. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. I just catch him with my hand? No. They're everywhere. Oh, there's a lot. All right. Yeah, they're running because they're terrified. Level four. That's a handsome boar, but I don't want a level four boar. Let's go see the guy out here and see what he needs to get the sloop. That way, some of the resources we have in our inventory, we can put right into uh, the thing. Uh, we need to go this way. Up we go. Uh, this guy, we're going to make more use of this time as well. This is the guy you're going to come to, right? When we need, what, clothing, clothing, cosmetics, and skins? Oh, look at this. Oh, I see. See, I've never really looked at this, but he's got all kinds of interesting clothing, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. He's got clothing, and he's got dyes. Magical stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot in here. Ship figurements for the front end, which we never got to put on the front end of the ship uh, last season. Ship sail skins. Oh, look at that. The junk sail. Oh, that looks really cool. Ship steering wheels. They got some pretty dramatic steering wheels here, too. Big old, what was that, crab? Yeah, the crab wheel. 
dead skeletons. Octopus. Octopus there. What is this one? A shark. Huh. Very cool. So there's some pretty cool stuff in this guy right here. And there's four islands like this in this particular piece of the grid. This guy is where you can buy crew. And what one of you mentioned in the comments is that we can only get 10 crew members at a time from someone like him. Pathfinder recipe. Huh, wow. I don't have any idea what that means. I don't think I've done anything with that <laughs> at all. This guy, what do you got? You're the boat guy. Uh, we could get a dinghy. Uh, I don't think so. We'll be doing the sloop. Yes. Uh, 138 fibers. We've got the hide. We need 250 wood. 138 fiber, really? I've got 138. Okay, so, all right. We could, we could do that real quick, real easy. I mean, real quick and real easy. Fiber and wood. Easy, easy, easy. I'm gonna go see a tree about a little bit of wood. 250 wood, was that what it was? We got 250. We'll be able to see if we can even walk over there. We'll drop what we don't need. Cats everywhere. Okay, what do we got for wood on us now? 221, if it was 250, we're gonna be sorry because we won't, we're gonna be encumbered though here pretty quick. Okay, that's going to sit 256. And now we just need a little bit of fiber, right? If we have to, I'll drop the uh, sugar cane because there's more right around here. Uh, actually, I could drop the berries, right? There's quite a few things I could drop right now. We're almost there. Let's grab a little bit more. So we've got some extra in our inventory. We don't just have just what we need. There we go. Beautiful. One more, one or two more bushes real quick. There we go. Excellent. I'm encumbered. Uh, I'm encumbered. But we're moving along nicely. I hope someday some of these building blocks come to the game. I'm not sure. And sir, I would love to get a sloop from you. Now, as soon as I drop this, they're going to want me to leave. Just thinking about this right now. Maybe. Let's do it. There's our sloop. Uh, oh boy. Let's call it charmed. We'll see if it actually turns out to be charmed. Charmed. Alright, there we go. Charmed is out there in the water. Let's get what we need to make a couple of boxes. We might we could, we could probably get some of our food back too. The ship's not going anywhere. It's fine right there. Uh, it just takes more damage when it's sitting in this port. So really it's not doing okay. We need to get it out of here. We need to go. We're gonna go find another island. We'll uh, get on shore. We'll find what we need. We'll do it like we did last time. It, it would probably be wise to hang out here a little while longer, but I'm eager to get um, out and see the world and have lots of adventure and not be just on a Freeport island. Welcome back. Storage. There we go. Let's get two of those made if I can do that. It would be great to put those on the ship. Uh, I did not open what I needed for the smithy though. <laughs> is it metallurgy? No, that's the... Oh, craft gives access to crafting the smithy. Okay, so this is the one I need next. I need to get that one next. We definitely want the smithy. It's very, 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 very important. Beyond belief how important it is. Well, the sun is going down on the first Atlas day. It was a beautiful one. Uh, went through it with just marvelous colors. What, what do we got over here? Oh, this is not. This is the same stuff, huh? Yeah. Hmm. I should scour this island, really, for crystal. And some treasure maps, too. Oh, there's one. Speak of the devil. Let's grab that guy right there. 
This is something we're going to get into a little bit sooner uh, than later this time around, and this is the uh, going after treasures. Now, I'm concerned about the pirates. I am very concerned about the pirates. I will tell you that right now, honestly, right to your face right now. I am concerned about it. Um, I'm not the greatest of fighters, uh, especially right now. But it depends on it's it depends on how they are, right? I mean, uh, is it really good AI or is it going to be you know mediocre AI? How, I mean, what's it going to be like? I don't know. I don't know. Are they going to run funny and weird and stuff and zip across the screen? <laughs> I don't know. This is all stuff we're going to have to answer. So we're going to have to find some pirates and see what they're like and you know try them out. I would love to be able to have um, you know somebody with me though to be able to do that we could probably move the ship over to uh over there instead of it being over here let's do that we'll move it a little bit and yeah, we gotta get a bed for it too there's a cat <laughs> well i've never seen something so ugly let's see what do we get here this is uh m7 Ooh, that's where we're at 20 gold? Really? Oh. Well, looky there. There's something for us to do right away. Uh, level up. Okay, so we wanted to do... That bumped my fortitude up to 50. That one level did that? Hmm. That doesn't seem right to me. Very fair. I want to say that one right there. That one seems way too fast. I may have done something wrong, which is not unusual. Water storage. Oh, thank you. Overeating tolerance. Yes. Yes. Get those. Definitely get those. Get that started. Uh, I learned that one too. Everything I could do to um, you know, keep my guy comfortable... While we were on that tropical island, I did. There's a wide variety of cats around the free ports, for sure. Uh, we can always come back and get a cat. I don't know what to do to tame a cat. It's probably got something to do with fish or sneaking up on it or something, but uh, I'm not sneaky enough for that. <laughs> I have learned the taming, and of course we've got the smithy too. It's in my inventory. I put a few things on the ship. Come on. It just... It wants that top one. It will not do it with the bottom one. <laughs> We've got that. Um, I put a little stair down here. I think I need platforms down here in order to do any kind of building down here, like some floors. Yeah, nothing's going to sit down there, so I guess the smithy is going to have to stay up here with us. Um, wow, there's no really room for it. Hmm. I guess what we'll do is we'll hold on to it, and then we'll... we'll get to it and we get to it uh, let's drop all that in there that in there too what is our weight at on this poor little guy we gotta get out of here because we're taking damage on the ship faster than we normally would 1014 out of 1200 huh wow that is way too heavy so let's drop what we don't need we don't need stone um we'll keep the metal let's drop that as well let's get rid of that Let's keep a little bit of stone. We can't drop all of it. It just doesn't make any sense. Let's keep just a little bit of it. And then we'll drop the rest of it here. We need to loosen up our load a little bit. It's a bit too heavy. I probably should turn that into arrows and stuff, but I'm kind of eager to get moving here. Let's drop that. Uh, that's a little bit of flint there. I think we're good here. Is that the stone that I decided I was going to save? Do I have stone in both of these? I do. Okay, so I've got stuff mixed around. Let's do that. Well, let's put this where it belongs, and then we'll know what we need to get rid of. We're going to take half of this out of here. Uh, I said half, but that was not what I had my finger on. There we go. And half the flint. And that's good. That should lighten us up a little bit, I hope. I hope, I hope, I hope. We've got to be able to move a little bit in here. Uh, 921, it puts us under 1,000 pounds. We're not going to be able to pick anything up and do anything fantastic out here, but uh, I think I'm ready to leave the free port. We've got our food. I have a couple skins of water on me. Uh, they're not both full, but 
they're they're pretty darn full. I've got a smithy, so when we land, we can get a smithy going right away. And do all that good stuff. Once we get the smithy up, then we can drop a W to raise the anchor. Here we go. W to put the sails down. Here we go. Is it W? Hmm. Oh no. Yeah, you can't use W to drop the sails when you don't have crew members. That only works when you have crew members. Uh, which way do we have the wind going here? We're going that way? Okay, so it looks pretty good actually. Let's open the sail by 50%. We'll uh, tootle on out of here. There we go, like so. Perfect. We are on move. I think I want to head down. Like right now it says I'm hot. This might not be a very good time to be setting off to go sailing either. Uh, we could probably, you know what, we could just open these sails all the way. Uh, fully open the sail. Let's just get rolling. Yeah, there we go. Perfect the mundo. There we go. And let's go ahead and rotate this sail. Over to yonder. There we go. Now we're moving a little bit faster. Float some and all that good stuff. Yeah, once we get out of the Freeport tile, then our ship doesn't take extra damage. We can continue to level up. I just hit level 8, so I definitely want to get out and about. Let's check the map. We want to head south. I'm going north. We want to be going the opposite direction. Oh man, that's not going to be very good for the uh, the wind, though. Let's see what we can do with the wind to get south. This is going to be kind of tough. We'll come around the island and then just keep on going. Does that make any sense at all? Probably not. We, we've got rocks and stuff up here. Let me just get the ship angled the right way. And you need to go there. There we go. Bingo. I'm on the sail and not the wheel. <laughs> okay. I got spoiled having a little bit of a crew there for a little while, you know. It was nice. So we're going to have to make sure we do that again, but much, much sooner. F, we're going to do uh, sturdiness. Oh, next few levels we're going to put into weight. But sturdiness is what we need right now. So yeah, we need to go south. So it's probably going to take me a little while. I was hoping to go... Well, did I want to go south or did I want to go... <sighs> you know what? I'm going to change my mind. We're going to go to the northeast. We are going to go northeast. We're going to go to N9. I thought about N9. We were going to go down to M8 right away. Golly. I'm so undecided right now as I go to set, set off here into the... Uh, the wild blue yonder here which way do I go I know M8 if the islands the same I'm gonna have all kinds of really great stuff on there to to get uh, number one being the salt but I can do that at the beach too so I'm not too concerned about that as well um, let's take a look and see where are we going I want to head to the northeast. I think N6, N9 is where I want to go. That's what we're going to go check out. N6 and N9. So we're going to turn a little bit more to the northeast. And uh, I'll meet you back when I decide whatever it is is coming up next. This may not end well, so I might as well have you here. I've got ships on my right and ships on my left. And... There's a bunch of them. <laughs> I'm just about ready to cross over into the next tile. It's not too far away. I'm hoping I get by everybody here without them seeing me. I've got a little more room on this side as I do on this side. Oh my gosh. They just literally appeared out of nowhere. You know, they only let you see them from so far away and then they're there. Uh, well, it looks like we're getting past these guys. These guys see that big one right there. Oh, that's trouble right there. He could be getting, he's getting really close. They will definitely run me down and kill me if I'm uh, if I don't avoid this. There's no way I can get away from that. But again, as it used to be, 
you guys have told me that if I'm in this class of a ship, they really won't bother with me because I am basically a peasant. Okay, he's turning around. Whew. All right, so it's been a long, long journey. It has taken me at least an hour to get to where I'm at right now. Uh, well, not quite an hour, about 40 minutes. About 40 minutes. F. A little more resistance. Oh, it's me. It's my level. Did we get past everybody? Looks like we did. All right, my level, huh? Uh, oh, now Fortitude's down to 20. Okay, so it said, I thought it said 50 earlier. Hmm. Hmm. It's a little more health. We'll go into the menu later for the uh, <laughs> the the learning of the skills. Let's uh let's first get to N5. First island I see, I'm pretty much gonna stop at. So I'll bring you guys back when we cross over. We'll go through N5 together. We'll find an island, and uh, that that will will be where we're going to kind of get kicked off here. We've traveled a little bit of a distance. I'll show you. You can see down from M7. That's how far we've gone. It's taken quite a while to get here because, well, the ship just isn't very fast, you know. It's not very fast, and it's got quite a bit of weight on it, too. I probably should have thrown out more than I did and just uh, rolled the dice. I've repaired a couple of times, gone around and repaired. And uh, just to make sure, because we did lose one of these in Season 1. Variety 3 sunk to the bottom of the ocean uh, because I was not careful with uh, keeping the repairs up. Uh, but anyways, I'll bring you back. Well, we're through, and we are approaching what is the first island I see, and it is a large island at that. Odds are we will encounter ships of the damned or something in here. Uh, I don't think I can do anything with my sails either. I think I've got them rotated. Yeah, I've got them all the way down as far as they'll go. So it's just going to be kind of a putt-putt trip into here. But now, if I go to my inventory, I can look up here... Water's 32 degrees, 32 Celsius, tropical open water. Uh, we're still in tropical, though. I thought for sure we would be in the eastern, uh, well, the not the tundra, but the, the cooler climate. I think we're in a much cooler climate up here. I do believe, indubitably, we are. Once we get off the ship and uh, uh, discover the island, it probably will change up for us. I hope. <laughs> I hope, I hope. Uh, because that was the goal, is to get up here where it's going to be a little more comfortable to be outside all day long and working at night. It may be a little bit cold or something. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. But, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, I'll be back. We're, the water definitely changed to a darker blue color, more of a Pacific Ocean look to it as opposed to tropical water. So we're, we're not in the tropics anymore. I know we're not. So I'll be right back. Welcome back. It is a beautiful spot. Look at that giant waterfall over there. Just massive. Uh, we had some spiders on the beach. Looks like the boars beat the spiders, so that was pretty cool. Uh, I'm just trying to get a little closer to shore now that I know how close I get. You know what I mean, Jellybane? So I'm just kind of getting closer to shore. We'll get the ship turned around. Yeah, there's more spiders coming down off that hill right there. That's kind of interesting. There's quite a few of them. The boars seem to be doing a pretty good job, although that guy's all by himself right now. I don't know if you guys can even see that, but it's, uh, it's a little battle royale. No, it looks like the spiders got the boar that time. Let's see. Can these guys even see me? Can I hit them from here even? Let's see. Nothing. They're going to eat those other dead spiders, though. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get lined up, get the boat turned and all that good stuff. If I just hold down D, the boat will turn and rotate, and then I can push S and back up, and then I can just get on and off the ship the, with the greatest of ease. There's a path that leads up through there and all that good stuff. What I should probably do is call this Episode 1. We've made it to N5. It looks pretty hostile right here at the moment with just, just the spiders. Otherwise, I see a lot of sheep and rams. But I would like to set foot on ground with you guys before we call it an episode. Uh, I'm going to spin too far. Spin back a little bit. There we go. And S. This is a kind of a slow process, but it does work pretty nicely to get your boat 
tucked up nice to shore so you don't have to dive in the water. I never did this much in season one, and when I finally started doing it, it was like, oh, this is really nice. This has got bamboo on it, too, which is an easy resource to gather up. Spiders are going crazy on everything, just going hog wild. I would love to get in there and help that boar <laughs> and kill them both since they're trying to help out. But that's about four spiders I've seen now. Well, I, think I, I think I hit... So X to drop the anchor. There it is. All right. We have landed. Land ho. Newing Bonnier Haven. What do we got over here? Spiders. Spiders are shooting webs. I sure would like to get rid of them. It's a big spider, man. Oop, I should probably take care of this one. Save the sheep. The ram is alive because of me. Cobra. Whew. Everything wants to kill us. Whenever you land on a new island, they all want to kill you. They all want a piece of radio. Now. Holy cow. That seems like a crazy amount of stuff. Okay, I was almost done. I didn't know I was almost done. This, the bug. Let's get these guys cleaned up. No, oh, nice. Carotenoid and stuff. That's good. There's one. Okay, so my goal here at the beginning is going to be to get something set up that we can live at and then and then go inside. Really what we should do first is get a couple of foundations put down and a bed. I feel like there is a natural path leading up through here. We're going to have to do some exploring. I would not mind having a couple of boars uh, show up. Is that a spider out in the water? Yeah, spiders are going to be a thing on this island, it looks like. Spiders and rattlesnakes. Let's go see if we can get rid of this spider here, too. This is good XP for us. You're dead, spider. Oh, that's a big spider. The size of that spider compared to me. It's massive. Okay. I gotta call it there, guys. It's a long episode, I think. I don't know. We got a lot done. We got all set up. We're ready to go. Um, yeah. I'll listen for you guys some feedback on what we're gonna do. I think that the best thing for us to do is to get just a little something, a little platform set up here with our smithy and uh, a few other things, a bed, stuff like that. And then we can... Um, you know, set up shop here and get to the schooner stage so we can keep going. Uh, Map-wise, I was going to go down to M8 right away because it had salt and everything else, but I've been to M8. And I don't want to utilize that right now as information to get stuff. So I thought what we could do is if we head east and hit 05 and go straight through the map, we should be able to come out pretty good. Mine's key. Yeah, I should probably have gone up into N4. I think N5 is going to be okay with this, though. I think N5 is going to be all right. This is a, a much milder climate. Let's go to our inventory. What are we at? This is Eastern Temperate. 
So we're actually in a pretty good place right now, I think. So we're going to do this. We're going to do health. Uh, I got two levels and a little bit more into stamina. And then I will spend some points and show you what I spent my points on. And we'll move forward in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, do hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I am the Radio Man 03. Have an awesome, fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.